You've got to train hard to play hard. Monster Hydro contains essential electrolytes and energy you need to perform at your best. Learn more at MonsterEnergy.com. Monster Hydro Hard Charging Hydration. Jordan Moore, Max Brown, and Penelope Hawking joins us now. Penelope's been on the show before. Uh, she has uh, come a real standard bearer for this USC women's soccer program, which is hot as can be right now. Ten consecutive wins, tying the program record. And in doing so, a little history made by Penelope herself. She became the all-time goal scorer in program history. That was last Friday. She's added to it since. She's up to 50. A nice round number, 50 career goals. Penelope, though, I was at the game on Friday to see you break the record. And it was kind of a weird situation because they gave you a goal. It was very unclear whether or not you scored it. Ultimately, you said that you didn't touch the ball. It was you, you never you, you never made contact with it. No, I never touched the ball. It was kind of weird because we all knew I didn't touch it, and everyone knew I was kind of on the cusp, like I was about to break the record. Yeah. And it, it was funny because I was running back, and they said that you heard the PA, right? Yeah, I yeah. heard the PA. I said, "Oh, Penelope Hawking scored," and everyone was kind of like, "Oh, uh, congrats, congrats!" I guess you know, like that was kind of like not a good way to to. Um, score like the the record-breaking goal so it was just kind of a joke at first but we all knew that like I didn't really touch it and they asked me at halftime if I touched it and I said no but by halftime you had already buried one from outside the box the perfect goal to land the record-breaking goal so did it feel good to at least be like no no I'm good that's the one I want that's the one I want to remember yeah honestly that's kind of, well that wasn't reason, the reason why I said that I actually didn't touch the ball but it was kind of a good way a better yeah. way to go out well, what, however it happened, it happened, and now you're the uh, leading goal scorer in, uh, in program history. What's that mean to you, looking back when you first got here to where you're at now? Uh, what's it mean to you? I mean, I came in, um, and I wasn't, like, a huge name. Um, I I kind of I just put my head down. I worked really hard, and I had a lot of great people that I played alongside. And I think those people, like, really laid the foundation for what it meant to be a Trojan. And ever since... I, my freshman year, I've tried to replicate my playing style and how I play, like Leah Pruitt, and she was like such a big role, role model for me, and I think she had such a big impact on my career, and I owe a lot of like my success in my career because of her, because she just taught me how to work hard, put my head down, and have fun at the same time. That's why every time we post about you on social media, Leah's the first one in the comments. Yeah, she always texts me and <laughs> stuff, and she's commenting on my photos all the time. So she's such a great supporter, and like I'm so happy to have her in my life. Well, she helped us win a national championship, and, and uh, right now, you know, you guys are playing at that championship level. You, you, the season didn't start that way, though. What, what all of a sudden kicked into gear that, that you guys have just run up 10 straight and doing it, you know, 7-0 seven, seven on Sunday? Yeah, I think in the beginning of the season, we always have a little bit of a rough start. We're trying to figure out how each other play, and um, especially up top, we're, pr we're pretty young, and Croy had her first season in the spring. Sav's coming off an injury in the spring, and we were kind of um, you know, trying to f switch up formations and everything like that, and we have such a young squad, and I think it took a, a little bit for us to to get to know each other and kind of build that chemistry on and off the field. And I think as the season, seasons progress, we've had more of a positive um, like positive outlook on things. And every game we um, go into the game with a positive mindset and looking to grow every game. And I'm just really proud of this team and how we've overcome these adversity. On Friday, you guys went 7-0. to zero. That's getting it done. That's... Uh... That's, that's leaving no doubt whatsoever what uh, yeah. specifically worked out uh, Friday night. I think it was just such an amazing team effort, um, you know, for, from the back line to the forward line. I think we played such good defense. And um, just from the beginning of the game, we had so many opportunities in the first half. And especially coming off the bench, like it's really hard to come off the bench and provide energy. And I think the girls who came off the bench, they provided a lot of energy and they really helped us win the game. And I think... I don't think one person scored two goals in um, Sunday's game. Yeah, I think you're right. So um, I think that says a lot about our depth and uh, how much this team has to offer. And our our energy's at an all-time high. We're feeling super confident. But um, I think it's important for us not to be complacent and just to keep moving forward. And I think we have a bright future ahead of us. And if we keep rolling, then I think we have a really good chance to win a Pac-12 and even a national title. Yeah, you're top of the conference right now. You're listening to P Penelope Hawking on Trojans Live. And uh, I was watching the other day. It's interesting the way Kadani is using you. You started the game and your, and your heels were on the left sideline. Uh, you pop up on the right sideline for an assist. You're in the middle to score a goal 
uh, you know, we often talk about it with Drake London, the, the ways they have to find to get him open. You're, you're a marked woman. What, you know, what's that like going into a game and, and trying to find those pockets and places on the field where you can still, you know, get the freedom to score a goal? Um, I think I've had to deal with it since my sophomore year. Like, I've always been, like, heavily marked. And I've learned a lot from those years. And um, I think our movement up top has been really great. And uh, we move around all the time. And we've tried to be tried to be really dynamic up top. So me and Savannah or Croy, we all try to switch positions in the middle of the game. And I think that helps a lot. It really, like, disrupts their defense. And we all try to give each other tips and – just in the middle of the game, we try to tell each other what's going on with the defense, and I think that's super helpful too. We, we're all um, trying to give each other little tips to help each other be successful. On a 10-game win streak, but uh, you mentioned it. Can't get complacent uh, looking ahead. As a leader, what's been your mindset and approach and message to the, to the team as you uh, embark on the, the back half of the season? Um, I think it's really important for us to just keep a positive attitude, and um, but to also know that our standard is – what happened on Sunday to just n never let down, like never let go, like just show no mercy, just keep going forward and keep playing good defense. And I think we need to go into every training and every game with the same mentality, like just work super hard to, to be better every day. And I think we've really, in the beginning of the season, we didn't really have that mentality. There was a lot of negative energy and a lot of like negative attitudes because we weren't winning games. But as we started winning games, the positive energy started to come. And um, I think We've done a really good job with that, and I think uh, if we just go into every practice, every game with that same energy, and I think we'll just be su super successful. Last one, uh, what's the ultimate goal for you in this sport? Is it to play professionally in this country? Is it to play abroad? Is it to you know, play for the women's national team? What's your ultimate goal? Right now, my my goal is to win a national championship. I came here to win a national championship, so that's kind of on my mind right now. Um, and I think... I want to take my fifth year. I think I want to take it here. Um, and then after, I I want to go pro, and I want to um, just keep getting better at this sport and try to always push the limits and challenge myself. And I think that means playing pro in this country, and I think that means playing pro for a different country and different league. And I think hopefully I can make the national team one day. That's been the ultimate goal. So um, hopefully I can do that one day. Well, yeah, it's pretty crazy. when you As you climb the charts in this conference, this, this conference is so good at soccer. The names that you're alongside are some of the great names in the, in the history of the sports. So uh, pretty cool to see you do that. Keep climbing. Uh, you know, love watching you play and, and get those team goals too. Uh, get that third star above the uh, yeah. above the interlock. That's what that's what you're looking for for sure. Thank you, Penelope Hawking.